You know, a uh, heads up, if you live in Dallas, the city is taking steps to stop the West Nile virus from spreading. Crews will be spraying repellent along four areas tonight and tomorrow, so stay indoors between 9 p.m. and 5 a.m. If you live in one of these zip codes, uh, city officials say mosquito samples from those areas have tested positive for the virus. West Nile has been a big concern in DFW this year, and here's what you need to know. We're inching into the fall, but mosquitoes are still a problem. Mosquito samples in several North Texas cities, including McKinney, Richardson, Irving, Frisco, Plano, Dallas and Fort Worth have tested positive for West Nile this year. So far, at least one person, a 90 year old, died in Dallas County, where 57 mosquito pools have tested positive. Those counties and cities with positive virus tests are using trucks to spray those areas to help fight the bite. The World Health Organization says around 20% of people bitten by an infected mosquito develop West Nile symptoms. Watch for headaches, fever, muscle aches, nausea or fatigue. Now the best way to avoid exposure to mosquito borne diseases is to avoid mosquito bites by practicing the four D's. Dress in long sleeves, pants when outside for extra protection, spray thin clothing with repellent. DEET. Make sure this ingredient is in your insect repellent. Drain standing water in your yard and neighborhood. Mosquitoes can develop in any water stagnant for more than three days. And avoid being outdoors during dusk and dawn. It's not just contracting West Nile from mosquitoes that Texans should be aware of. They're also carriers of viruses like Zika, malaria, and dengue.